You're watching Ride Beyond, and today we're stepping way back into automotive history to uncover one of the most fascinating and forgotten experiments in alternative propulsion, the 1939 air-powered car. It sounds like science fiction, but this real vehicle was an ambitious attempt to create a gasoline-free future long before EVs were even a concept. It's a story of innovation, bold thinking, and a bit of mystery. In 1939, a man named Charles Nelson Pogue gained attention for developing a car powered almost entirely by compressed air. At a time when America was just starting to see why car ownership and gas prices were low, the idea of ditching internal combustion seemed radical. But Pogue, a Canadian inventor already known for creating high-mileage carburetors, pushed the envelope even further with his air-powered prototype. The car itself looked fairly ordinary from the outside. Built on a standard steel frame and riding on classic white wall tires, it resembled a typical 1930s coupe. What made it extraordinary was hidden under the hood. Instead of a traditional engine, it housed a system of air tanks, valves, and a unique propulsion mechanism designed to use compressed air to drive pistons. There was no need for gasoline, oil changes, or spark plugs. The idea was to fill up the tanks with compressed air either via external compressors or onboard systems and release the pressure in a controlled way to move the car. Inside, the cabin was simple and stripped down, as expected from a prototype. It had just the basics, a steering wheel, basic gauges, and a few switches to manage the air pressure and flow. No frills, but enough to demonstrate that the concept could work. The focus wasn't comfort, it was about proving that alternative propulsion was possible. The performance of the 1939 air-powered car was limited by the technology of the time. Reports suggested it could travel short distances at moderate speeds, around 35 to 40 miles per hour, but it struggled with range. Compressed air energy density just wasn't high enough to sustain long journeys. Refueling required access to industrial air compressors, which were not commonly available to the public. But despite these setbacks, the car sparked curiosity among engineers and skeptics alike. Some believed the idea had merit if technology could improve. There's no official price tag on the 1939 air car because it never made it to production. It remained a one-off, a dream that faded as gasoline remained king and the automotive industry turned its focus toward bigger engines and post-war manufacturing booms. Still, the idea of air power lingered in the background, occasionally resurfacing in the form of experimental vehicles and urban transport prototypes decades later. Today, the 1939 air-powered car is considered a symbol of early alternative energy exploration. It was a bold move ahead of its time, and though it didn't revolutionize the industry, it opened the door to thinking differently about fuel and propulsion. With modern materials, battery support systems, and smart control units, air-powered concepts are still being tested in small applications like delivery scooters and lightweight city cars. Looking back, the 1939 air car might seem like a quirky footnote, but it represents something much bigger, the idea that innovation can come from the fringes, from inventors thinking way outside the box. In an age when the world is once again searching for clean energy solutions, the spirit of that dusty old prototype still resonates. This has been Ride Beyond. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more journeys into the world's most unique and powerful machines from the past, present, and future.